to the pressure, particularly up the middle, disrupt your timing on some of those throws? Uh, yeah, I mean, I thought they, they did a good job. Like you said, they're, they're uh, a good front. And uh, I thought overall we did a good job handling it. You know, I think that's going to happen in any game. You're going to have, uh, you know, pressure at times, and, and you expect that. But um, I thought overall we did a, did a pretty good job handling that. I think there's some, some situations where, uh, you know, I can be better in the pocket and I can, I can get the ball out. Daniel, can you talk about the two almost big plays, the Sterling opening in the first quarter, and then the, the touchdown that was a little high in the end zone? What did you see there? Um, yeah, just uh, you know, two big missed opportunities. I think um, when you play a good defense like like uh, Minnesota, you need to convert those. So um, yeah, I mean, I think you know, I'll certainly look at those, but I got to be better uh, in those situations, and, and uh, we got to take advantage of those. So um, you can't afford to. I can't afford to miss those when we, uh, you know, against a team like that. Most, team, most people try to shy away from these Vikings corners, but you guys were aggressive. Uh, what were your thoughts on coming into this ball game, trying to be aggressive and showing that, hey, we can throw a deep against you guys? Um, I, I mean, I think uh, we have a lot of confidence in, in uh, you know, our guys, our receivers. I think, um, you know, up against anyone, I think we match up well. So, um, you know, like I said, we had the opportunities, we had the chances, and. Um, I got to do a better job making sure we we convert those chances. But um, I don't know. We're we're going to be aggressive, and we're going to uh, you know with, with every game we play, we're going to stay aggressive. What's your overall feeling about how how you and the offense did today? Um, not I mean just not good enough. I think you know more more than anything. I think like I said, you know I thought uh, the plan was good going in. I thought we we created a lot of opportunities for ourselves to to make plays and and. Uh, we didn't make them, so uh, you know you're not going to win if you can't if you can't convert those opportunities. You can't make plays, so um, you know I think you know I I, I got to be better. And you're you've been still, tough you're on yourself. You've been tough on yourself in the two wins. Um, do, you, do you take away that kind of mentality from this game, um, seeing more things that, that need to be worked on? Yeah, I, I think that's always the uh, always. Uh, the mindset I think after a game is to to use it to improve and, um, and certainly certainly no exception here. I think there's uh, a lot of things I gotta I gotta do better and and uh, you know I think you know we'll we'll, uh, we'll correct them as a team and, and we'll move forward. But um, yeah, I think it's always kind of the same mindset. Daniel, with Wayne with Wayne going out, did that change perhaps some of the protections and maybe how you guys want to attack uh, Minnesota's defense? Um, you know, I mean, I think um, obviously Wayne going down is tough to see, and you hate to see, uh, you know, you hate to see him go down. And, and uh, uh, but I, I thought, uh, you know, John and, and Eli stepped up and, and played well, um, you know, with their opportunities. So um, I'm not sure it changed a whole lot, really, in terms of what we were doing. Short turnaround for you, and I know you just got done with this game, but just the thoughts on your next game will be against Tom Brady in New England. Yeah, I mean it's the uh, it's uh, the next opportunity. Um, so, you know, we're looking forward to you know the quick turnaround, the fact we get to play um, you know four days from now and, and uh, short week. So, um, I think we're excited. I think you know it gives us a chance to to get back out there and um, like I said, correct some of the things that we we need to correct. Are you a guy you watched a lot growing up? Have you seen some quarterback? Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, you know, I watched I watched everyone uh, growing up and enjoyed watching everyone. But he was always, uh, you know, he's been one of the best guys for a long time. So uh, I've always enjoyed watching him. Yeah, you're on the safety, on the safety. Uh, what you see in their defensive front? I know you're still reading the defenses uh, across the league, up, but what you see on, on that that safety with they ran at you? Uh, yeah, I mean they they did a good job on that. You know, I probably can uh, can make sure that we're. Uh, you know, making the right decision in, in the run game, and I'm, you know, if, if I have a chance to, to get us in a better play, I'm, I'm doing that. So, um, you know, I think that's a, um, you know, a tough situation, and, and uh, we can all be better. Was this game different in the sense it seemed like you got hit more, there was less room to run? Was this just a, a better defense that you faced? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think. Uh, they are a good defense, and you know they deserve credit. But um, like I said, I think we created enough opportunities for ourselves 
to win. And, and uh, you know, maybe there wasn't as much space at times or there was, you know, um, you know, but I think that's going to happen in a game, and as long as you're creating opportunities, you need to be able to convert those. So um, we didn't do that. I didn't do that, and, and uh, that's why we lost. With fourth and two um, from the three, when you're attempting to go in and you got sacked, was there a hot, should, should there have a hot read on that play? Um, um, I don't know if there was anything to Yeah, that. I mean, there, there's, uh, there's always a way to get the ball in your hands quicker, and, and uh, yeah, I'll, uh, i got to do a better job. You mentioned missed opportunities. Coach said that that was kind of like the storyline of the game. What is it that you this team needs to do to put everything together? Um, I don't. I'm not sure it's something uh, that we need to change or we need to uh, do differently. Or, or uh, you know, I, I'm not sure it's that kind of problem. I think it's just about converting. I think we're we're certainly capable enough, and we're. Uh, you know we're aware enough. We know we know what we need to do, but um, it's just about it's just about doing it and, and and making sure we're doing it every single play. We're out there, so um, you know I, I don't think by any means that we're uh, you know need to rethink things or need to uh, change what we're doing. I think it's just uh, just making sure we do it. You had played two games and done nothing but win. Is it a different feeling walking off this time? Um, yeah, I mean it's never a good feeling when you lose, uh, certainly. But I've been on uh, I've been on teams where we've lost. I've been on uh, you know I've certainly lost games before. So um, you know I think it's uh, you learn from it and and it's an opportunity to improve. But uh, yeah, it's it's never a good feeling to lose. Thanks, Dana, with with uh, Harrison Smith on the back end, it seemed like obviously a talented player, but. Did he give you different things to think about when you were looking downfield because of how much ground it didn't seem like you would be able to cover and kind of get to maybe where you were on the ball? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a good player. Um, obviously played, uh, played in that system for a long time and, and knows what they're, what they're trying to do. And, um, yeah, I mean, there's a couple instances where I could have done a better job uh, controlling him uh, with my eyes maybe or, or seeing it a little bit, a little bit better. But... Um, I don't know. I think that you know you got to give a lot of credit to their to their defense, but um, I don't know. You know, like I said, we had we had opportunities, but um, yeah, they deserve credit. What was it like having Golden Tate back today? It was good. Um, you know, I thought uh, you know having him out there was was uh, was a, was good for us, and uh, you know, obviously. Um, you know, probably probably miss some opportunities, giving the ball and, and making sure he's he's involved. But um, you know, it's good having him out there, and, and uh, look forward to you know growing and and, and uh, you know improving. Do you ever have to get um, ready for such a short duration? You said four games, and you think about your career. You ever have games that short where you have to prepare and just turn around? Uh, yeah, I don't I don't know if I. Uh, had anything quite like this in college? I guess we played uh, played Saturday and then played Thursday, so maybe five days. But um, yeah, it'll, it'll be a different week. It'll be uh, you know structured differently in how we uh, how we practice and how we prepare. But um, you know, I think you know I'm confident we'll you know we'll be able to do it. The Patriots have four days too, so um, you know it's about it's about making sure we're we're efficient and, and uh, prepared to prepared to play. I'm confident we will be. Has the Sterling in the back of the end zone that he caught and went out of bounds. Is that the one you, that upsets you the most? Um, I, I mean, I think, uh, yeah, that one and, and a number of other missed opportunities. But um, I, I think, I don't know if I value them differently. They're all big plays that, that uh, you know, we should have made and I, I should have uh, should have made sure we, we did. So, um, I don't, like I said, they're, they're – uh, Number of missed opportunities, and and you know you need to convert those to beat a team like that. That ball a little bit too high, did you think, or what? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. it was, it was uh, clearly too high. So uh, on the injury front, I think the one of note is Gallman, who left the game early with a concussion. Uh, otherwise, you know, just got banged around. Um, so some of the guys are just going to be a little bit sore. The challenge is to get them back going, uh, get their energy level up to play on Thursday. We faced a good football team. Um, 
there were times in the game we presented ourselves with opportunities. We didn't take advantage of them. And when that happens against a good team, they take advantage of them. They, they were able to run the ball on us uh, at a clip that's um, it's going to be hard for us. Uh, and then uh, they threw the ball. So they, they did well. Um, they played well. And we didn't take advantage of our opportunities to give ourselves a chance to win the football game. So that's the message. Um, just told that to the team. And we just got to get back to work. Got a, obviously a hell of a team to play on Thursday, and that's that. So I'll take your question. Your defense really struggled in the first half. But what do you think it was that gave you guys such a hard time? Well, I think you know they were running the ball and their boots and nakeds, and you know they were able to get into the kind of rhythm that they wanted to get into, and they they did a good job. How good to cover those boots and waggles when you are new at linebackers? You have new guys. Yeah, that's. Uh, when you add the new at linebacker, that's making excuses for the fact that we, no, that's, we got to do a better job and everybody on defense. And then when we have opportunities to score on offense, we got to take advantage of it. Coach, how did you think Daniel looked against the top 10 defense and where some takeaways his performance Yeah, I think uh, he, he showed me week three again, his toughness and his poise. Um, you know, he made some good throws, you know, under duress at times. Um, then there was a couple he was just off on. You know, the one that comes to mind is the uh, Shep throw in the end zone. You know, I think that's a touch. We talk about making that a, a face mask throw just a touch high. But, hey, there's, there's a lot of things. There's situations where I wish I could have given him better plays. So, um, but I thought he battled. And, and that's, why, um, that's why he's going to be a good player for us for a long time. You get the big turnover, you know, right by their goal line. You guys are backed up with a one yard line. Um, you know, you obviously want to get it out of there as much as you can, so you give it the helmet. I mean, do you have other options there? Was that, I mean, was that just a bad yeah, Other than run the ball? Well, run it. Could have thrown it. Yeah, I said yeah. they could have thrown it. Yeah. Yeah. We, it was a run play that, um, uh, in hindsight, I mean, we, we, we didn't execute it well enough, and we got sacked, or, or you, we gave up a safety. So it's two points, you move on. That's that. I think we got beat by what? What did we get beat by? 18. So that, was a, that was a bad play on our part. We got to clean that up and move on. Good question, though. Tough question. Good question. Pat, how would you evaluate the offensive line tonight? Uh, I thought they battled hard against a really good front. Pat, what do you think of the call against DeAndre, the tonic call? Uh, I, I didn't see the actual call. I mean, my understanding is that it happened. So I had a conversation with him about why that can't happen. And uh, we got that cleaned up and we moved on. But I did not see the actual, you know, the play. It was sort of between plays or after a play. So I cut my eyes away for slightly. Pat, did you, uh, I know you don't want to use excuses you already said about personnel, but were you compromised in the second half? Is it just to see what you Running game going, it seemed like the Vikings kind of no, I thought uh, I thought Penny had a couple nice runs in there, right? And if you ask him, he'll tell you he's a converted halfback. Just ask him. He plays fullback, but he's like, hey, coach, give me the ball, you know. So um, I thought he stepped in and, and he he did some good things, you know. And then you had Hillman in there that was battling too. So we move on. Darius Slayton got his first touchdown. Yeah. Today. How have you felt he's progressed over? I, you know, since the day, uh, the question about Darius, I, since the day he got here, he has made steady improvements. I mean, he's obviously a really good player in college, and we drafted him for a reason. He came here, and ironically, the first practice, he couldn't catch a cold. So we're like, holy smokes, did we get the right, were we looking at the right guy? From practice two on, he has made steady improvements in those types of plays are not surprising for me to see based on what I've seen from him. Coach, what was it like getting Golden back today? It was good. You know, he's a veteran presence. You know, he gets in there and battles, and um, we'll just have to look at it. You know, I think, um, you know, we probably didn't do enough to get enough guys enough balls, you know, and that's partly because of who we played against. But um, I thought it's good to have him out there. You can feel his veteran presence uh, on the sideline. I know didn't shy away from throwing deep down the field against these corners. What were your thoughts on how well the receivers competed and Daniel Jones in the attack was going to deep? Well, you know, we felt like, you know, we just weren't throwing goal balls. You know, some of them were certainly. But we felt like 
you know, we needed to make some plays down the field. And um, they didn't always present us those good, clean one-on-ones. But the times that we did have them, I thought Dan did a good job of letting the ball go. And then the other part of it is, is OK, the protection element, making sure that you have that as well. Got the sack on fourth and goal. Well, I guess it was fourth and two and three there. Yeah, we are going for it, right? Yeah. What, uh, is there anything Daniel could have seen and, and done to avoid that? No, we had a con- you know, we had a, a, a three-man concept to the left, and um, you know they, they pressured the A gaps. I thought we did a good job there, but just like any time you pressure in a quarterback's face, it kind of disrupted him some, and then and then the edge get got him some. You know, there, it was a good rush on their part. I'll have to look and see how clean we were blocking it. Um, you know, I don't. You know, I'll kick myself in the butt for it, but. I wanted to be aggressive there. We were down by two touchdowns, and I felt like, you know, against a team like this, when you have opportunities, you got to hit on them. And um, that's why we did it. You threw the challenge flag on the the chef flag. Did you have any thoughts of throwing it on the feint to Ingram on that third down? down down Yeah, but I. I told you I'm going to go there at some point, but. You know, hold that thought, okay? I thought about it, certainly. But in that situation, it, I'm surprised sometimes by what I hear in challenge. And there was a grab on the left side of our receiver. And that was a big play that could have put us at the one in, in a two-score game. So that's why I felt like that was worth it. Um, you see typically on fade balls all the time in the back corner, it goes bang, bang, where there's a lot of times where the, the demeanor of the defender is not playing the ball, but kind of goes through the defend or through the offender or the offensive player, and you don't ever get those calls. So I made a judgment, and uh, we'll check it out to see what anybody wants to say about it. And then, um, you know, it's like I'll take it to my grave because I can't tell you guys what happens, but we'll figure it out. What do you hope, do you hope Daniel learns from today? What can he learn from today against this defense? I think we played against four really good defenses prior to this. But I think each person that played today, n- number one, you cannot get discouraged. I'm looking for guys that are going to get discouraged. Those are the guys that are going to get out of here, the ones that get discouraged. You can't get discouraged. We didn't make enough plays. And so everybody goes back, and we'll do it quickly because we got a game on a short horizon here, and make make our corrections, and we move on. And I think Daniel's no different. Uh, were, you, were you upset they didn't call protect Daniel on that low hit? Uh, uh, that was one of a number of things I talked about. Hold that thought. I, I'm going to get to it at some point. It's going to be, it's going to be epic, but right, not today. We'll take two Pat, more. Pat, what do you say to the idea that it's going to be hard for you guys when you go up against good offenses with the defensive talent you have to really be able to consistently yeah. stop them? Yeah. Listen, we got to go out and play against whoever we play against, and you know, there's every team you play is good. But when we play well, we're good too. So that's what I would say. One more. Did you do you feel encouraged at least that you got down into scoring position a lot of these drives? Like you didn't finish them, but you know, fourth and two, fourth and twelve chances to make a comeback. No, I'm not. I'm not 